to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are diving into some MDT pick fed related style things you guys know with Vindication episode 17 coming very soon. I figured we could dive into some of my favorite aspects about the pick fed or just pick fedding in general. And that's just the fantasy matchup perspective, right? I mean, that's why we pick fed. That's why we, you know, you come up with the creative storylines. You book it, you draw it, you make it happen, you form the storyline, you get the things going, and then you have the wrestling portion of itself. Now, I will say, wrestling more is about the moments and the things leading up to the feuds and then the wrestling portion honestly is just like the the cherry on top right the wrestling is the action we get out of the story that has been told or being told even through the, the wrestling itself however guys i have a list of fantasy matchups that i potentially i mean i could do them in the future none of these are yet planned but they are fantasy matchups that i've had in the back of my head that i've wanted to do before and what i think i could create and i think i could uh, you know i could do some things with that and i think the matchup would be an absolute slapper over there in the mdt arena but this is a list of matchups that I think would absolutely slap and uh, I, I could potentially see. Now, do not let me know down in the comment section below when we're done with my list. If you guys agree with my list, if you have your own fantasy matchups, man, I want to hear them down in the comment section below. I'm going to give you some context on why I want to see these and maybe potentially we could see them in the future. Who knows? But again, at the end of the video, man, leave me your fantasy matchups that you would like to see in the MDT pick fed or just a pick fed in general down in the comment section below. Now, let's dive in, man. Starting off my list, I, I mentioned this on the Talking Feds podcast. If you guys did not know, we have a Talking Feds podcast. It's run on FAW's YouTube channel, and it's posted every Wednesday. We talk about, it's me, stage creator G Natty, and FAW, Danny Meltzer, all coming together and talking about pick fetting and advice and tips and all of them tricks and all these different things, man. So if that sounds like something you would like to see, definitely go check it out. Link in the description, man. We're actually going to have Harrison on this next episode, I do believe, so uh, be sure to check it out. But I actually talked about this on the last episode of that podcast, where this is a matchup that I want to do or that I have been dreaming of doing for a while now, and that is Darby Allen versus Brock Lesnar, man. Can you imagine Darby Allen versus Brock Lesnar? How Brock Lesnar would just be tossing this man all around the ring? He would literally be like a rag doll. Like, I know we've seen some things in the past and everything like that, but Brock Lesnar and Darby Allen, bro, oh my God in heaven. Brock Lesnar could literally, it wouldn't be just an F5, man. He would like F10 him. He would throw him so damn high in the air. German suplexes all over the place. It would be insanity. And outside of Brock Lesnar as an opponent, for Darby Allen, I'd really like to see Jeff Hardy. I think a Jeff Hardy and Darby Allen matchup or feud would be really, really entertaining. You know, it's kind of like Darby Allen's pretty much the Jeff Hardy of this generation, I would say, or at least the AEW, you know, this generation's comparison. It's really cool. And so I think that would make for a really fun matchup, man. But Darby Allen versus Brock Lesnar, that's one that I had to put in the video if you guys didn't know that already. Next up, guys, is sort of a faction versus faction deal going on, but with the release of Unmatched Series 3 coming out with the Dark Order, how sick would it be? Be to see the Dark Order go head to head with the Wyatt Colt, man, with the Brody Lee Luke Harper dynamic. The Dark Order and the Wyatt Colt going head to head would be so fantastic. Can you imagine just the feud and just the things that we could see in this thing? You know, you you know, the MDT pick fit has its spooky elements. It has horror elements in it. It has horror themes. It's got the spooky, creepy stuff going on. It ties in perfectly to the Dark Order, the Wyatt Colt. It's just wonderful. So that is a matchup that would be fantastic. Again, you have the Luke Harper aspect that dives into it. Bray Wyatt, Aleister Black, the, the Wyatt Colt. You have the Dark Order. Maybe there could be some new members of the Dark Order that I could add myself, like some different characters and stuff that could come in that maybe aren't necessarily in Dark Order, but I could play around with that and, you know, mix some things up. I think that would be really fun just to balance out the power between the Wyatt Colt and the Dark Order there, but that would be a matchup that I would absolutely love to see. And just one big old tag team match, like an elimination tag team match or a big style matchup would be insane. Sanity, but uh, that is the one that I would love to do, and I had to include Dark Order versus the Wyatt Colt. Next up, guys, speaking of creepy aspects, man, this one is sick AF. Demon Finn Balor going one-on-one -on -one with the Fiend Bray Wyatt think that would be excellent as well. Again, you have these dark horror theme style characters. You can do so many creative things. When you have those like cinematic and horror and creepy, eerie characters that are kind of, you know, low-key magical, you know, they have some different elements like that. It really makes pick fetting fun, you know, especially when you're dealing with cinematography and different elements of it. Absolutely beautiful, man. Demon Finn Balor versus The Fiend would be excellent. It wouldn't be like that, that one go around where The Fiend snapped his neck and it was over. Demon Balor and The 
Fiend would burn the house down, and uh, there may even be some burnt houses in, in, in the pig fed, you know? Like, I, I don't know. What the hell would happen, Brad? It would just be an intense match. I would love to see it. The Fiend versus Demon Valor is a fantasy matchup I would love to see in a pig fed. Next up, guys, we have Orange Cassidy taking on anyone. Honestly, I would love to see Orange Cassidy take on anyone. His offense is super creative. You can get really creative with him, man. I have so many things planned for Orange Cassidy in my pig fed, but one thing I would love to see him do, I know he's over on Vindication, and Brock Lesnar and No Way Jose are on MDT Live, but holy Jesus, I want to see Orange Cassidy take on not only Brock Lesnar, but No Way Jose. You guys remember dancing Mortal Kombat music with the freaking stereo system. That character of No Way Jose taking on Orange Cassidy, hmm, that is freaking genius. I would love to see that matchup in MDT. Who knows when that'll take place, if it'll ever take place. Uh, I could do one-offs, but I don't like to really do that. I like everything to kind of take place under the MDT umbrella. You know, keep it canon, all those different things. So since they're on different brands, probably won't cross paths for a while, but that is a matchup I would love to see. No Way Jose and Orange Cassidy, but really Orange Cassidy versus anybody. I'm, I'm just excited to have Orange Cassidy finally in the pig fed. So many creative things you can do with him, and I had to include him in the video. Next up, guys, I'm going with RVD versus Kevin Owens. Now, this has a lot to do with the Extreme Championship. If you guys are, are longtime fans of the pig fed, and you guys remember back in the beginning, RVD was the Extreme Champion. He was, uh, he was the one that, he was the one that started off the division, right? He was always tearing the house down with, with people. Even if the posing wasn't the best, I felt like the matches were really entertaining. And RVD held that Extreme Championship division down for a really long time before Kevin Owens came over and got involved in it. And RVD lost the title to Bobby Lashley but way back when in the Money in the Bank matchup. And then he went on to win the Money in the Bank, got shelved after being run over. And we, you know, we haven't got to see him perform in a really long time. While in that whole span, Kevin Owens came over to MDT Live and kind of took the reins of the Extreme Championship and has been on this dominant run, kind of replacing RVD as that edgy, hardcore wrestler on MDT Live. And I think that's a really interesting storyline. I think that's a great storyline. And I would love to see them cross paths one day in a banger of a matchup, man. We're going to get a double jointed arm Kevin Owens very soon, even though his figures are phenomenal. And then you guys know the Elite 90, what is it, 1? Elite 91 RVD that we're going to be getting very soon as well. Double jointed arms, Tiger Stripe gear. Them burning the house down at a show for the Extreme Championship. God in heaven would love to see it. It writes itself, Brad. Just pure, just delicacy. And the last one I have right here, I was playing around with a bunch of matchups. I really want to see Luchasaurus wrestle some people. Now, I have like tag team matches in my head. I would love to see the Jurassic Express. The, the Jurassic Express is tied up right now with the Usos, the Rated RKOs. Right now, they're tied up with the Usos and Rated RKO. Like, we're, it looks like we're headed towards a triangle ladder match at My Damn Nation for the MDT World Tag Team Championships between all three of those teams. But if Jurassic Express were to wrestle some other teams, those are two teams I'd love to see them wrestle. I would love to see them wrestle Braun and Kane on the other side. You know, that would be an excellent tag team match. But if Luchasaurus was wrestling by himself, I would love to see him wrestle Braun Strowman or Kane. Two mass wrestlers there. You have a great dynamic. Again, they're on different brands, so it's probably, I don't know if we'll ever see a warfare, you know, between MDT Live and Vindication. It's something that I want to write out and it's something that I really want to do. I know it's not going to be after My Damn Nation because I already have that planned out. However, it has to make sense storyline-wise. It has to make sense, and it has to come together cohesively, or I'm not going to write it. You know, there's no point in doing that and just kind of forcing it up for no reason. So, maybe we'll get cross-brand promotions. I would love to see Roman Reigns and Kenny Omega. I'd love to see, you know, Kevin Owens go do war with Cody Rhodes. You know, the different crazy stipulation championship matches going head-to-head. -head. But at this moment, who the hell knows when that'll happen, man. But I wanted to get on here and talk about some different pick fans fantasy matchups that I would love to see in MDT or just in general but specifically like MDT like I would get to creatively book it I would get to do the match I would get to do the weeks leading up to the match all those different things so I would love to know down in the comment section below what your fantasy matchups are guys you know do you have some cool ideas and things like that of course I could probably name a hundred different matches that would be in amazing you know there's just there's so many different matches you can make bro like it's it's literally limitless however these are kind of the ones at the top of my list and the ones that I thought of when I sat down to do this. These are some of the ones that came to me immediately, and I'm sure I'm missing some anyways, and it, it's going to upset me. However, that pretty much wraps up our video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you guys missed the MDT Vindication storyline recap from yesterday, definitely go check that out. I would really, really appreciate it. Before we get to Vindication 17, before you watch Vindication 17, please go watch that recap video so you know everything that's going on around the show before you dive in on all those different things, man. But I'm getting out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your fantasy matchups for pick feds or things you'd like to see in MDT down in the comment section below, man. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like uh, the Luchasaurus figure. It's beautiful, but you can't
can't pose it for shit. You cross 